Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the kitchen. This is your boy, the Mad Chef, and tonight we're doing something a little different. Um, it's the new year. Well, not the time of this recording, but by the time this video gets to you, it will be 2024. And I know here recently I've been doing a lot of really cozy, fattening, really good to eat comfort foods. So we're going to roll back a little bit on that and do something healthy. Haven't done a healthy food video in a little while. Um, so this is great for those of you that are doing a New Year's resolution or just trying to eat better in general. Tonight we're going to be making my lean but delicious garlic herb chicken pasta. I came up with this three years ago um, after I had gallbladder surgery because I, I don't know if any of you guys out here uh, are watching this that have had um, a gallbladder surgery done. But you got to kind of watch what you eat, especially fats. So this is one of the first recipes that I came up with after I was able to actually walk and cook after having that surgery done. Um, this is a low-fat option, and it's also a quick cooking. So uh, I'm hoping this will be weeknight gourmet time. I'm going to start the timer now. All right, so what I have in front of me are three boneless, skinless chicken breasts. All I did was pretty much trim the fat. Yeah, i got to bring my recipe book out because it's been so long since I've made this. Um, so we're just going to keep these breasts whole and we're going to go ahead and start seasoning it. All right. So for this chicken, I'm making an herb rub that consists of one teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of parsley, and a half a teaspoon each of dried thyme and dried rosemary that I crushed up into some finer pieces. So we're just going to go ahead and get our chicken breasts covered in this herb rub. And guys, I know a lot of times um, healthy food gets kind of a bad rap because people say healthy food has no flavor, but this is totally wrong. This is going to have so much flavor, you're not going to realize how good it is for you in all actuality. Healthy food does not have to be boring. Alright. Now that we got this done, we're going to wash up and take it to the stove. Alright, so now we got our skillet hot. All I've got in here is just some nice extra virgin olive oil. And if you guys are looking for a healthy alternative to cooking oils, uh, avocado oil is great. But in my opinion, the very best oil to use for cooking, period, is extra virgin olive oil. Not only is it good for the heart, it's also really great for flavor. Olive oil just adds an incredible flavor to whatever you're cooking. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sear these chicken breasts off both sides about three to four minutes on each side. And then we're going to put them in the oven. I went ahead and went with Four minutes on each side because these are rather large chicken breasts. And now that we have achieved a beautiful herb crust, we're going to toss this pan in the oven on 350 for 30 minutes. We're going to start working on our pasta water. And our pasta tonight is this right here, Garden Rotini. You can use any brand you want. But this is the kind that's actually made with spinach and tomatoes. So it adds a little extra nutritional value. These things taste great. They take a little longer to cook, um, I guess because of how they're made. So, uh, But this turns out really delicious. And again, it's a great healthy alternative to regular pasta. I also like whole grain pasta too. Um, either one is just fine. But this works really well with what we're making tonight. So we're going to use this. So we'll see you in a few minutes after our rotini is about done cooking. Then we're going to make a sauce. Okay, our rotini pasta is done cooking. We got about 10 minutes left on our chicken. We're going to go ahead and start working on the sauce. This is probably roughly about a tablespoon or so of olive oil. You don't want much more than that. And we're going to add to it two tablespoons of minced garlic.
I'm going to reduce the heat down a little bit. And basically, all we're doing now is just sweating the garlic out. Make sure it's giving off some nice oils. Another reason why we're reducing the heat is because we're about to add dairy product to this and you do not want to scald or, or curdle your milk. So we're just going to keep working this around until you see some nice browning. Get some of that water worked off from out the uh, minced garlic. And also this olive oil is a great substitute for butter. Again, another one of those calorie conscious, um, food conscious things. Again, this, this pasta is a very healthy recipe. You'll never know how good this is for you by, just by taste alone. This is going to blow you away. You just got to trust the process. All right. The heat's calmed down some off of this. We've got some nice browning going on. So now... We're going to bring in one cup of half and half. Not heavy cream, just half and half. All right. And then we're going to add some herbs. So I'll take this off the heat, make sure it doesn't get too hot. Bring out my handy dandy cookbook. And so we're going to add to this one tablespoon of parsley, half a teaspoon of each of these, thyme, rosemary, which again I crush into smaller pieces. Basil and oregano, and one teaspoon of salt and ground black pepper, and we're just going to add that in. And now, we're just going to go ahead and let these herbs do their thing. Get this half and half back up to heat a little bit. You don't want it to boil, but once it starts coming to a simmer... We're going to add in our cheese. All right, it's only been a couple minutes now. We're achieving kind of a, a rolling simmer here. So now we're going to add in our cheese. And all this is, is a half a cup of mozzarella. And that's it. Now, when I originally came up with this recipe, it was a half a cup of like 4C homestyle Parmesan. I switched it to mozzarella to give it some of a creamier con you know, consistency as uh, Parmesan is a lot harder to cream up and melt. And still, with only a half a cup of mozzarella, we're not breaking our resolution or our low-fat goal. You can still have nice, creamy, and a little bit of a stringy goodness here without breaking your, you know, your calorie budget. Everything in moderation. That's kind of what I preach about, even now. I try to practice most things in moderation. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I fail. But at the end of the day, as long as you're trying and you're trying to put better things into your body, you know, on somewhat of a regular basis, you're doing okay by me. All right. We're going to whisk this up just a little bit longer. Going to bring it back to a simmer now. And once it reaches simmer again, we're going to pull it off. And that's our sauce. All right, now we just wait for the chicken, which has only got about three minutes left, so this worked out perfectly. All right, and now that our chicken is done pan roasting in the oven, we're going to go ahead and start cutting this chicken down, breaking it up into some bite-sized pieces. And guys, this chicken looks beautiful. It is juicy. It's got that nice savory herb crust. So after we get it cut down into these nice bite-sized chunks, we're going to go ahead and add it to our sauce. All right, so now that we've broken down our nice chicken breast into these smaller pieces, we should really go ahead and try it. You know what it smells like in here? It smells like a rotisserie chicken. And guys, no lie. You can serve chicken breasts just like this and serve it with a healthy side and no one will be disappointed. This is packed with flavor. So what we're going to do is we're going to toss these lovely chicken pieces into our sauce pot, get them coated, and then we're going to put it on top of the pasta and try it. All right, so I have my tri-color rotini 
and my creamy garlic herb chicken on top. And I bet a lot of y'all are wondering if I could successfully sauce all that chicken in that little bit of sauce. And guys, look at this. All the way, man. There was not a piece of chicken left untouched or uncoated, which goes to show you don't need necessarily a whole lot of sauce to make things happen. And the amount of flavor that's in, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The amount of flavor in this is ridiculous. So let's go ahead and try it. Just like I remember it. It's so fresh tasting. Those herbs, those seasonings. That little bit of cheese, that sauce. It all kind of comes together and plays really well with these garden veggie noodles. And Guys, I swear, you'll never know it's good for you just by tasting it. To get out there, you can adhere to your New Year's resolutions and still eat good. This is proof. Y'all go ahead and try this and let me know what you think. This is a great dish. Your family will love it. And they'll probably come back asking for more. So you can eat a good bit of this and not feel bad about it. Until next time, this is your boy Mark, the Mad Chef. Have a great night and let's eat.